New at six clumps of trash lining the Missouri River. This year's devastating floods have washed more debris into the river than normal, and one group is trying to do something about that. 41 Action News reporter Nick Starling shows us the mess and the cleanup. The mighty Missouri, the place for wildlife, boats, and unfortunately, more trash flowing downstream. It's uh, pretty awful to see. We're on the boat heading to River Marker 333 near Sibley, Missouri, where it's known to have a lot of trash. So this is uh, what we find along the Missouri River, but this is one of the most intense spots. Executive Director of Missouri River Relief, Sneef Snar, says the flood of 93 washed out a levee here. And so this area collects a lot of trash that's flowed downstream from places like Kansas City. Everybody's litter ends up floating into a storm drain and then into a creek and into the Missouri River. In places like this, collect it and help us get it before it floats on downstream. So the goal of today is to really map out where these heavy trash spots are. You can see some trash piled up over here, some broken bottles, some trash bags. That way tomorrow when you come back out here, it's a lot easier to pinpoint where they go to pick up that trash. And then identify uh, what type of crews would be needed, what type of tools would be needed. Some couldn't resist the urge to pick up a little bit now. Hey, good job! Everything from soda bottles to car parts tangled in the brush. And the recent flood added to the problem. Whenever we have big floods, we find more trash. And if there's devastating floods, then we'll find like whole households will get washed into the river or people's barns and their, their equipment and propane tanks. It's a mess driving this group to do more. I was just amazed at the amount of trash. Trying to make a difference. Just, you know, clean up after yourself. Reporting near Sibley, Missouri, Nick Starling, 41 Action News. Now, volunteers will clean up the trash starting at 9 a.m. tomorrow morning, and they say they'd love help. If you'd like to help, they have more information on their website, riverrelief.org.